Let's look at package management using the apt utility on Ubuntu. So I have a machine here and I want to do some updates. So the first thing you want to do is use the sudo command. So sudo apt update. This will update the repositories and your list of packages available. So you put in your password and it goes and downloads them. It could have a much larger list and it could take a lot longer. But then you can see right here it says I have packages that can be upgraded. So if I run this uh, list right here, upgrade, then it will go ahead and try to upgrade these things. Now, this does have some issues and something to look at. It says the following packages or following upgrades have been deferred due to phasing. So sometimes you'll see that basically it's saying it's not sending this out to everybody all at once because if there is an error or bug or that, it doesn't want everybody affected. So it just does some of them at a time and slowly works through and gets everybody. So you can ignore this. Um, if it is if you have this thing where you do an upgrade and it has package upgrade, then it will install them and you'll get new copies of the packages. So that's good. All right. So what if I want to install a package manually, just a different package? I can do sudo app install. And let's say I want a web server. Well, I could search for it, but maybe I know which one I want. So I can do Apache 2. If I do that, it will tell me which packages are going to be installed. It says the following additional packages will be installed. You can see this list right here. It has information about suggested packages. Um, also, it lists which ones are going to be new packages that will be installed. And so I can go ahead and say, yes, I do want to continue and it will install the packages, download them all, and install them on my system. So then I'll have the Apache 2 package and all of the dependencies all installed on my system. Now, in addition to installing it, it also creates symbolic links right here, which make it so that I can go ahead and, well, it'll start it automatically. So it'll start the Apache 2 system and I can use systemctl to modify that. So if I do status Apache 2, you can see that it is enabled by default, and that's the preset. And so now because it was enabled, it also went ahead and started it. So now these symbolic links actually cause it to be enabled and then we get it started. All right, so that's great. If I go through and I configure this Apache service, I can do that. Now, if I wanted to remove it, I could do an app remove Apache 2, and that will remove it. But if I want to remove the configuration files as well as the binary, instead of remove, I would use purge. So Apache 2, and that will remove the configuration files as well. Of course, I do need to make sure I remember the sudo command every time I do this, and it'll ask me, do you want to? And I say yes. And then it'll go ahead and remove the Apache 2 package and the configuration files. You can see it's purging the configuration files for Apache 2. If I would have left it there, then they would not be removed. If I would have left it just a remove command, it would, it would keep the configuration files. All right. If I wanted to know if Apache 2 is installed, I can do an apt, apt list Apache 2. And you can see that it says, well, there's Apache 2, and this is what it would install if I told it to install Apache 2. However, it says there is another another one. And so if I do app list and I throw in a uh, minus a in here, so app minus a list Apache 2, 
then it says, oh, we actually have two different options for this. Of course, the one it would choose is this top one right here, but there is the bottom option as well. All right. If I wanted to know what things are available, I could do an app list without any of that name. And then you can see this giant list of packages available for the system. Now that's great. I could do some kind of a uh, grep to search for it. So maybe I wanted Apache 2. If I do that, it will list all the packages that have Apache 2 in the name somewhere, which is quite a few of them. Now, if I was saying, well, I just want to know which Apache 2 things are installed, I could do that as well. So I could do list dash dash installed. Actually, this will list all the packages that are installed. And this will print out this nice list that's not as long as the previous one, but it does list a lot of packages. And if I wanted to run that through a filter, I could do that as well. So I could do a, a grep Apache 2 and see if there are any packages that are installed that happen to have Apache 2 in the name. And it does list them. All right. So, um, because Apache 2 is no longer needed, I have removed it. It's not on my system anymore. But these things that were required by Apache 2, they are all auto-removable. <clears throat> so if I want to remove my dependencies, I could do an apt auto-remove. And that will go through and it will find packages that I can remove that are not necessary. So I click yes. And you can see all these packages are going to be removed because they were only installed because they were required by Apache 2. And so now I do yes, and it removes those packages. They're no longer necessary, and they're gone. Now if I say, well, I really want to install Apache 2, but I can't remember the name of Apache 2. Maybe it's Apache. I can do a search. So you do app search Apache. And I can get some information about Apache or different packages that have something tied to Apache. Of course, it's a very long list, but you could filter it better if you could think of what you really want to look for. Sometimes it's helpful to know, well, what something's already called ahead of time. But I could pipe that through something like less. And then if I do that, then I could scroll down and say, well, I want something Apache. And you say, oh, Apache 2. I could install that. But I know I need to know more about this package. So I could do apt show Apache 2. And it will give me some information about this uh, package. It says, well, this package is called Apache 2. It's got some information about it. Um, you can see what it needs, what it recommends, and um, you can look down here and you can see a description about the package. So the Apache web server, and there you go. So that will help you get some ideas of how to do uh, your updates for your repositories, your upgrades for getting your system upgraded, uh, installation for installing packages, remove for removing packages, purge for removing the packages and their configuration files, auto remove to remove unneeded packages that are already there. You can use the app list to list packages to see if it is on your system. You can use the app list installed to see which packages are installed in your system. And you can also do your app search and your app show to get more information about packages. I hope this gives you an idea of how to use app to do package management.